On January 3, 2019, China became the first nation to successfully land a spacecraft on the far side of the moon. This incredible achievement showed just how impressive China's space program has become. And now, with a huge amount of annual launches on its own space station almost complete, China's now regarded as one of the most powerful space programs in the world. But despite all those successes, the China rocket is being viewed as a disaster to the safety of mankind on Earth. Why? Analyze everything about it in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Have you ever looked up at the sky and imagined what it would be like if an object as large as tens of tons fell on you? Well, that would be more than a disaster. This probably only happens in the movies. Unfortunately, with Chinese extremely relaxed safety standards, their rocket parts frequently fall to Earth under no control, sometimes crashing into populated towns and villages. And now it's time to play Find the Falling Chinese Rocket once again. A huge hunk of Chinese space junk is expected to crash back to Earth this week, and sadly, nobody knows exactly where or when it'll come down. The debris in question is the 23-ton or 21-metric-ton core stage of a Long March 5B rocket which reached Earth orbit on Monday, October 31st, after launching the third and final module for China's Changpong space station. Atmospheric drag has been pulling the rocket body lower and lower ever since. The latest observation and model suggests the Long March 5B will come down Friday morning, but the error bars on that prediction remain large at the time this report came out. The Aerospace Corporation, for example, predicts an atmospheric re-entry on Friday, 7.20 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, plus or minus three hours. That big window puts some of North America and nearly all of Central America and much of Africa and a slice of Southeastern Australia, among other areas, in the potential line of fire for falling space junk. Experts can only estimate how much of a Long March rocket body, which is roughly the size of a 10-story building, will slam into the Earth. Some of it will likely burn up as it plows through the atmosphere, but the rocket body is too large to completely disintegrate. The rule of thumb is that 20 to 40 percent of a large object's mass will survive its fall through the atmosphere, experts at the Aerospace Corporation previously said. It's still too early to tell exactly where the core stage might fall, most likely in pieces. But the Aerospace Corporation is tracking the rocket stage and predicting the possible paths it might take back to Earth. The area where debris could fall covers about 88% of the human population, according to those analyst calculations. But that population is heavily condensed in a few places. Most of the area where debris could rain down is open ocean or uninhabited land. Honestly, we've been through this troubling exercise before. This is the fourth time that a remnant from China's Long March 5B rocket has threatened human lives and property. Each of the three times the rocket launched, 2020, 2021, and July 2022, chunks of its body fell back to Earth. In May 2020, debris from one of those rockets was discovered near two villages in Ivory Coast, reportedly causing property damage. In 2021, China said remnants from the rocket landed in the Indian Ocean near the Maldives. Earlier this year, in July, portions of a rocket booster also crashed back to Earth, with several likely pieces discovered on both the Malaysian and Indonesian sides of the island of Borneo, as well as in the ocean near the Philippines. To make matters worse, the Long March rocket uses hypergolic fuel, which is extremely toxic, so residents are told to stay far away from the debris once it's landed. Rockets get launched all the time, and very seldom is there concern about re-entry. John Logston, the founder of George Washington University's Space Policy Institute, shared, as the world waits for the rocket body to fall. So yeah, I'm a little confused as to why this is happening. It's just willful disregard of international guidelines, or because it's a new vehicle it wasn't properly designed to be a controlled re-entry, whatever, Logston said, adding, it's unfortunate it puts a lot of people at risk. If the U.S. and Europe, the rule for space operators is that if there's going to be some kind of uncontrolled re-entry of space debris into Earth's atmosphere, there must be a lower than 1 in 10,000 chance the falling object would cause any kind of casualty or injury on the ground. It's a particularly high bar to clear, which is why U.S. and European missions have to be vigilant about how they dispose of the rockets they send to space. 
Basically, once you're done delivering payload, you turn your rocket around, fire the engine, and drive it back into the ocean somewhere, usually someplace where there's no population. Marlon Sorge, a space debris expert and technical fellow with the Aerospace Corporation said, you do that and you pretty much have mitigated the risk right there. Control disposal is something that most launch providers throughout the world do already. SpaceX and ULA, for instance, purposefully deposit parts of their rockets over the ocean after they launch into space. Plus, the core of SpaceX's Falcon 9 is famous for actually flying back to Earth and landing upright either on a drone ship or a landing pad following its flights. The core booster of the Long March 5B doesn't have that capability. Once it launches into orbit, the engines on the rocket core can't really reignite. They're designed for single burn. Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist at the Harvard Center for Astrophysics and Space Tracking, shares. And so this thing just burns once and switches off and it's dead. Then we just have to wait for it to fall back to Earth as its orbit decays over time. This thing just burns once and then switches off and it's dead. The Aerospace Corporation estimates there are between 1 in 1,000 and 1 in 230 risk of a casualty from the falling Long March 5B booster. That's 10 times above the 1 in 10,000 threshold, which is why there's heightened vigilance around the specific case. And whenever China pulls a stunt like this, the U.S. isn't particularly happy about it. Spacefaring nations must minimize the risk to people and property on Earth of reentry and space objects by maximizing transparency and regarding those operations, says NASA Administrator Bill Nelson when the 2021 Long March 5B fell. It's clear that China's failing to meet responsible standards regarding their space debris. After all, space junk could kill someone this decade. In a study published in the journal Nature in July, researchers calculated a 10% rough chance that debris would strike one or more people within a 10-year period. It's not just Chinese rocket bodies. Satellites and chunks of unknown debris fall out of orbit regularly. If you roll the dice too many times, someone will get lucky. Jonathan McDowell, a Harvard astronomer who meticulously tracks objects in Earth's orbit, previously said, and Ted Mulehopt, a consultant who works on Aerospace Corporation's reentry database, previously said that an object weighing at least one ton falls from orbit and reenters the atmosphere on a weekly basis. Well, that about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comments section. Everyone's support motivates us to create more quality content. And for that, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you next time.